My name is Michelin Villagobi, 23 years of age, from Eastern Cape in Flagstaff. After finishing at the School of Skills, I decided to continue with my studies, whereby I registered at the Tivet College. I started with my level two and CV until I finished my level four. After finishing my level four, continued and enrolled at the College of Cape Town, where I did my N4, N5, and N6 in building and civil engineering. At the Tivet College, you get a chance or exposure or you learn how to work with your hands, practical skills, and as well gain knowledge on what happens on site. So it will be best if more people can enroll at an Tivet College so that they can get exposure and they can develop skills for themselves so that they can start their own businesses as well or go work for a company. I'm a bricklayer by trade. I started with bricklaying at the School of Skills in 2012. In 2019, I registered my own company, Mvelagobi Civil Engineering and Projects. The reason for opening the company was to create more job opportunities for youngsters and as well as train them in the industry, bricklaying or civil industry. Also, what I am doing is giving back to the community with the skill that I have. Some people cannot afford hiring big companies. So what I do is to give back and do it at a cheaper price or sometimes do it for free for people. Studying at a Tibet college, I've gained practical skills, exposure, as well as site experience. While I was at a Tibet college, doing busy with my studies, I also got an opportunity to participate at a World Skills competition where I represented my country, South Africa, at an international competition in Abu Dhabi. After the competition, I applied for my trade test. I've done my trade test in 2020. And after finishing the trade test, I as well did my assessor and facilitator course. My plans was to create more jobs opportunities for youngsters, especially people coming from TVET colleges and the learners that are on the streets looking for work and there are people there who have skills but do not have opportunity to get work. So my plan was to bring those young people in, train them in the sector and as well as employ them.